Hey guys, we're back. So this is one of the trips we took um, to Spain. Um, Lanzaratos, part of Secrets. Okay, so it's about 15-20 minutes from the airport. And just to briefly show you guys, this is the outside. Um, this was really nice. It was a really nice experience. The flight was pretty decent, you know, can't complain. But um, this is the outside of the hotel. You can see through um, really, really nice, breathtaking views. I'm gonna we're gonna give you guys. All right, so this is just us going inside now, where you can get an inside view of the lobby area. Pretty big size, um, a good size lobby, you know, compared to other places. Um, really quiet right about now. At night, you'll have, you know, more. I guess during the afternoon, towards nighttime, you'll get a little bit of a crowd in the lobby because they do enter their entertainment is um, done inside at night. So, and this is for if you want to do your spa. This is just, you know, the areas inside showing you guys what to expect if you guys decide to go I do recommend this trip we had a great time great great time the people are really nice very friendly the locals really really nice experience um, like I said the, the lobbies you know pretty decent a pretty good size um, they do have a Coco Cafe um, this right here towards the left is their entertainment area so at night they have music your salsa um, they're they're playing the piano different uh, things going on at night this is if you want to set up maybe for your spa this is also uh, for trips excursions if you want to do um, you have that area there where they um, assist you with those sort of things And, you know, the look is pretty modern, very up-to-date, you know. The floors are really beautiful. I mean, everything was just well, well put together. Um, this is just a bar, an inside bar that they have. drinks galore alcohol galore whatever you want they have it trust me <laughs> um, and behind that is the Coco Cafe and their Coco Cafe was okay um, I mean I've had better so I can't really you know I don't know what everyone looks for in a Coco Cafe but um, and it closed a little bit early so that was one thing that I didn't really like again this is the entertainment area um, it gets really crowded here at night whenever uh, like about maybe after dinner like about 630 until about maybe 11 or 12 or so um, it gets really really crowded and just between those doors right there you have the Coco Cafe in that area right there So these are the, st the stairways you have um, on different ends and it takes you downstairs to um, the pool area. We're gonna show you that in a bit. But this is the entertainment area. You get a full view of what's going on. They have a really beautiful uh, piano set up. Lots of space so it's not really, you know, you come and you like where do I go you have a, there's a lot of space for you to either sit stand wherever whatever you choose but it's very well you know the cat the space wise is enough for their entertainment at night and it's pretty quiet right about now um, when we got there it was about mid morning or so so it's it's really quiet which was really nice we got a really nice time to film with not 
not that much people around and walking, you know, around in the camera, but. And just look at the view. Like I said, you had two stairways at the end. And, you know, they do have rooms upstairs. So people that didn't even have to leave their room just to, um, come out their front door and you can look down into the entertainment and see what's going on. That's their front desk area. And this is the stairs that we were talking about that leads you downstairs to the cafeteria area where they do the buffet. And this is the outside. So this is just a look, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I tell you, their, their uh, architecture is really nice. Really, it's different from all the other secrets that we went to, but you know, it is Spain, so you expect a lot. <laughs> So, and this is just the outside area, the pools, um, lots of space, like I said, you know, to sit and lounge around, really nice. You have your, your chest over here. I think a lot of places have that now. Um, this is the spa area that's just down, you know, below. Uh, unfortunately, they do not allow cameras in there at all. So that's one thing we really didn't get to. Uh, we took advantage of the spa, but cameras inside, they do not allow that, which is understandable. Okay. And of course, you have your, your cabanas, you know, your own private cabanas. You have that as well if you wanted to rent those out. You can do that as well with the view that's facing the ocean. It's just breathtaking. These are one of the pools here. Um, I think they have about four pools, if I'm not mistaken. One of them is a preferred area, and the others are just your basic regular uh, pools. You have your swim up. You know, some rooms do have the swim up by their doorstep, which is really cool as well. And they do have a lot of room, a lot of, you know, for everyone. They they can accommodate, I'm gonna say roughly about maybe 400 people, because they have so many lounge chairs. I mean, it's crazy. I think this is one of the places I'm like, oh my goodness, if they have a lot of lounge, chair, lounge chairs for you, so. This is their pool. This is one of the pools that are just outside of the, um, the buffet area, which is really nice. At night, it's really beautiful. It lights up at night, so, you know, really, really nice. Okay, and there you have the sign, Secrets Lanzarato Resort and Spa. Guys, we had an absolute great time here. And of course, you have your uh, showers outside for, you know, you want to just wash off all that uh, chlorine or whatever off of you of course they have that built in really nice I'm saying they're detailed so arc their architecture is so beautiful the details it's really really nice to look at barefoot grill is just one of the grill one of the restaurants we would walk through to actually get to uh, one of the pools which is really nice the setting is right there. You're right, literally above the pool area, so you look down. You're, you know, looking down towards in the water. So, really nice view, and their food was really good. I must say. I know around lunchtime it got a little busy, so it was like a delay in getting our food um, because they just get really, you know, crazy with having to fulfill all their orders for room service and for the lunch people that come in so and there you go really nice guys 
I don't know if anyone has ever been to Spain before, but I do. I had that on my, one of my on my bucket list of places to visit, and I I have to say I'm very pleased with the, with everything. I have no no complaints. You know, I think just the time difference because it's like a five hour time difference. So just getting adjusted to the time was a little you know rough at first, but um, it was okay. <laughs> we adjusted quite fine. <laughs> Again, like I said, look at all their lounge chairs. I mean, it wraps around the entire pool. This is the restaurant we just um, came out of, Barefoot Grill. So you guys got a really nice view. I think the sun goes, sunsets like about maybe um, about nine o'clock around that time in the evening. So, um, you know, you have really nice views to kind of look at before that time. But even at the night time, it's, it's really nice because it's a, um, to get into the town, it's about a 10 minute walk from the resort. So it wasn't too bad. And we did, I think we did that almost every single day and night because down in the, down in the town, they do have their own little thing going on there too. So, you know kind of mixed and mingled with the locals and the restaurants down there as well. Food was amazing. And these are another, this is another one of their pools. You can see like their, um, the, the chairs built in, in the pool. Um, it's really nice. It's really hard, very, a little bit uncomfortable, but, um, you know, it's just something nice to look at and of course take pictures. <laughs> So that pool, I want to say, is about 12 inches deep. So, yeah, it's really nice. And again, the architecture around the entire, I'm going to give you guys a backstory on all the stones because I know you guys are seeing a lot of um, stones, the black um, stones, the rocks that are there. So I'm going to give you guys a little history from what I learned when I was there okay and this is just another pool again that goes around it's sort of kind of like a lazy river but not exactly so it's not as it doesn't go around the entire um, hotel resort I should say okay and that's the main building to um, get inside the rooms. Um, I want to say it, it's about six floors, right? So the view, the view from our room was really, really nice. We had an ocean view. I mean, you can see out up in the mountains, the hills. We had a really, really good view. I really must say, I can't complain about that. The view. That's one thing that I get excited about is the view. And also, this place also has, like I said, a lot of the places that we've been, they also have the preferred club. And this place had it as well. Um, the pool was really nice, the preferred area. Um, I mean, it was okay. Um, I, I, I don't want to be the type to say I've been to other places where the preferred was really outstanding. But this one, I guess, it was okay. It was no, I, I'm not going to complain. It was just okay. <laughs> So quick story, so again I want you guys to look at all this black little rocks, the little marbles that are everywhere, even the, the, the architecture against the wall. Um, back in 1736, um, a volcano erupted. So all of those little you know, black things you see are all crushed uh, rocks from the volcano. So they did that and they made it into their own, I guess their design rather. They designed the entire resort out of that, believe it or not. And you can quote me because that was what I was told. Um, but yeah, look it up. It's pretty interesting. All right, so this is just um, inside in the preferred area. We're going to go upstairs and this we're going to give you guys a really nice view. 
this is just up top they have the preferred area you're gonna look down and all that look at that is the preferred area that is really really beautiful again you look at the crushed you know rocks I mean I think that is one thing that really um, stands out with this place is the design you know who would have thought and that's the swim up pool you guys have that in that area right there um, the restaurant here for the preferred was really good um, food was delicious I must say and again you hardly see anyone out there it's pretty early so um, you know got some really good shots for you guys and this is still inside they have you know you want to play pool kind of indoor you know shelter over you so you're not you know if rain comes you're still inside enjoying yourself entertaining your own self I should say there you go all right and you guys are still getting a lot of you know different views so nice And you know, this is the only part of the hotel where you will get a little bit of sand. Because the hotel, as you can see, all those little, you know, crushed rocks, this is the only area where they have a little bit of sand. As you can see, people want to get sink there, put their feet in some sand. They have this reserved just for that. And then you can actually walk off and you know, wash off and you know, come back up and you're back at the hotel. But it's not far, it's just right over right below the preferred area yep preferred club there you go one thing I must say there are no kids in case anyone wants to know there are no kids allowed at this resort is a strictly adult only and um, you know look at that sign there you go they do have a lot of different things for you to take pictures with. I mean, I, I think their props are really nice. So you just saw the I Love Secrets Lanzarato sign. Um, you do have a lot of pictures where you can take things of. I, it's really nice. They're, they're backdrops, I should say. And this is just walking distance for a nice walk, a nice stroll. Um, the water, very cold. So, you know, it's beautiful to look at. Maybe just, you know, put your feet in for a little bit. But the water is very, very, very cold. For me and a lot and everyone that I went with, <laughs> that was one of our things. The water was freezing. It didn't matter what time of day it was. It was cold. And this is just, this is the Sugar Reef. This is the uh, uh, restaurant that's below, um, right by the, the beach side, I should say. Um, this particular restaurant, they do more of an entertainment for like weddings and different like receptions. They have right down in this area here. So that area, when we were there, we did see a wedding taking place. So that's what they normally do in that section right there. Really nice, guys. And this is the same restaurant, they just have an indoor and an outdoor. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And then you have the Oceana. This is strictly just seafood. It's a different restaurant at the other end right there. And of course they accommodate you, you know, the sun, it does get really hot, so, you know, they do accommodate you for that. Really nice views for you guys. I'm hoping you guys are enjoying it. So this is just the top view of, you know, what's down below.
Okay, you have your swim-up bar. The water for the pool was really very warm. Very, very warm. I wish the beach was like that, but... And you have your sofas to lounge and kind of relax. And they do, you know, the waiters, they do come around like every five minutes making sure you're okay, you're not in need of anything. So, and there you go. You have your uh, stools. You can sit, chill, drink. Really nice, guys. Like I said, I'm hoping you guys will take the time to visit this place. I mean, it's really, really, really nice. Don't forget to always like and please subscribe to our page. And there you go. Alright, we do, um, you know, take any type of, you know, reviews. If you have any questions, just leave a comment. We will definitely get back to you with whatever it is that you want to know. Um, again, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, it was one of our best trips, I should say. We enjoyed it a great deal. Again, please like, subscribe. This is just the last footage of just the outside, just going through it briefly. And you have, this is just a walkway to go out into the town. So this is where you would go. Um, you see people are now, it's like a jogging, like a little path. Alright, so I really, really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. And wishing for many more to come soon for you guys to look at. Again, like and subscribe. Until next time, guys. Bye.